Hi, welcome to Minnesota Music Mom. I'm Karen Davis. Uh, I have a few more songs to play out of that blended worship book that I've been using recently, but I thought I'd switch it up a little bit tonight and play out of a different book. So the piano book I've chosen tonight is called More Sunday Solos for Piano, Preludes, Offertories, and Postludes, 30 Blended Selections, and it's by a variety of arrangers, published by Hal Leonard and they actually have a series. This is more Sunday solos, and then they have Sunday solos, and uh, even more Sunday solos, <laughs> and they have seasonal Sunday solos. So um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking of getting the other books that I don't have. I just have the, uh, the two here, so I might get the other two also. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but the song that I would like to play for you tonight is called The Heart of Worship, and it's four pages long and has two sharps. That was Heart of Worship, Words and Music by Matt Redman. And it's out of the book called More Sunday Solos for Piano. Um, I've got quite a few little notes in here. I, there's quite a few songs in this book. I really like this book. Um, I got it a while back, but I actually didn't bring it out until just recently. And, um, and that's when I found all these treasures of uh, pretty songs in here. So, um, well, today, t tonight, while I'm recording here, it's a little different. I know uh, last weekend I was stuck in the, in the blizzard, and you could actually hear on the video the wind <laughs> blowing through the <laughs> past the window outside, because I live in an old farmhouse, and so the windows aren't all that great, <laughs> and you could hear the wind whistling. But this weekend, uh, when I was out and about doing my, uh, my errands, it was so beautiful. The sun was so bright and shining, and the snow was so bright, and the snow was sparkling in the sun. It just looked like diamonds sparkling all over the, the hillsides and the, and the landscape. It was just gorgeous. And, you know, it makes a person think how God made this beautiful world for us. You know, he didn't make it for himself. He made it for us, for you and me. And he loves us very much. Um, and wherever we are, wherever we live, the whole world is just magnificent, so beautiful. And wherever we live, look out the window, um, do our daily activities and so forth, we should always remember that God did make this world for us and he made it absolutely beautiful 
and we should never take it for granted. And another thing we shouldn't take for granted is that he did make us. Uh, he created us. Each and every one of us, he doesn't make mistakes. So I know sometimes um, I myself went through a stage where it's like, well, what is my purpose? Why am I here? <laughs> there's there's got to be a reason why I'm here. What is it? What am I supposed to be doing? Um, am, I, am I missing the boat? Am I supposed to be doing something that, you know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not doing, do I not understand what I'm supposed to do? I just needed to know what my purpose was. And and after a while, I just realized, uh, you know, God has a purpose and he guides us through our lives. So we don't have to necessarily know what our purpose is. We could be doing it just me sitting here talking to you could be my purpose. I, I don't know. Um, but if you feel that, you know, you, you don't know what your purpose is or you don't belong somewhere, you do belong. Um, God, you belong, you belong here. God created you for a reason and for a purpose, and he had that in mind even before you were born. So if you are here, you are here for a reason, and you are here for a purpose, and you belong here. So um, just a couple things to, to not take for granted. All right, well, thank you for visiting, and I look forward to seeing you again.